Hello everyone. So in this short video, we are going to see how to install VS Code uh, in any desktop system and uh, what are the extensions we require to uh, use the same editor for uh, compiling LaTeX documents. So just go to your preferred browser and uh, search for VS Code. Uh, in the listed results, you could see the options like download Visual Studio Code. Uh, this is a famous editor. So obviously you could see get the results even in the first page itself so you you may see a uh, list of available uh, executables uh, for download depending upon your operating system uh, choose your preferred executable and install it into, uh, into your uh, our system so this is very straightforward uh, in the case of windows you simply need to double click uh, and if it asks uh, uh, administrative password just issue it uh, and uh, nothing you have to do uh, to proceed further it will simply install the file in your system uh, once the installation is complete i just open the uh, visual studio code from the shortcuts uh, created and uh, you may see the welcome screen like that um, in the editor you may see an option uh, called extensions uh, uh, this is an extension store uh, from here you can uh, get the relevant extensions uh, to work with a different kind of uh, programming uh, files. Uh, all we need is uh, an extension called LaTeX Workshop. Uh, just search for uh, LaTeX Workshop and you will get an option like that. Uh, so I have already installed this file. So it shows uh, uh, options like disable and install. In the case, if it is a press installation, you may see like a button called install. You need to just simply install it. Nothing you have to do further. Another uh, one more extension I recommend you to install is uh, a VS Code PDF. Uh, so often, uh, uh, whenever you compile your document, uh, suppose uh, in other editors, uh, you have to minimize your editor and go to the uh, directory and view your uh, uh, PDF file manually. So you can uh, uh, do that uh, by installing this VS Code PDF uh, uh, and uh, you can view that uh, in your uh, package itself. So once you finish uh, this one, I recommend you to install another one called uh, uh, Spell Check. Uh, actually, its name is a Spell, right? It is depends on your. Uh, it's an optional thing. Um, uh, uh, actually, I prefer this one because I do a lot of uh, mistakes while typing the things. So. Uh, a spell checker is an essential tool nowadays, I think. Uh, so I recommend this one. This is a simple and lightweight one. Uh, it do uh, the preferred item satisfactorily. So that's all. Uh, this is the three extensions you uh, need to proceed further. I hope uh, this short video gives you some idea about uh, how to install VS Code and uh, install the necessary extensions in that uh, software. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, you can uh, write me uh, to this mail address, contact at 